Hey guys, it's Lauren. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I want to talk about different makeup books that I'm I have. I'm just going to go over four of them that I have. I wanted to know you guys' opinions about them. I'm just going to show you the cover, the title, who wrote it, and um, just maybe read some of the table of contents. So the first book that I'm going to show is called Classic Makeup and Beauty. By Mary. It has a lot of Quart. step by step, a lot of graphs. This one in particular shows you how to find your skin type. This right is here. a gallery of looks. The next one is understanding your skin, the makeup palette, skincare regimens, step by step makeup lessons, and there's a lot there to be learned from, and body care programs. The next one is my Bible because I love Bobby Brown. And um, this is the book, that's what it looks like. New York Times bestseller, Bobby Brown, Teenage Beauty, everything you need to know to look pretty, natural, sexy, and awesome. And I got this when I was in high school. So, long story with Bobby Brown. Um, I never really talk about it because I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, it was a big deal like, for me inside. It was something special that I always take with me, but I don't brag about it. When I was in high school, I had auditioned for an acting school. They just said, no, oh, come out and audition, maybe you'll get it, and if you do, um, oh, they said that um, there's going to be someone, a special guest scouting there for the acting school, and it was for John Robert Powers, and <laughs> I went, I was 15, and I was scared, I was so scared. Anyway, okay, long story short, um, there was a scout there. I got accepted into the acting school. Did not think that would happen. I had the time of my life, met great people. I did a, Levi, a mock Levi's commercial. It was so corny, but it was great because I had a Levi's jacket with me. And they just handed me a script and they're like, say this. And I was like, okay. So I did it in front of the camera, big lights. And um, I was so scared, but I used that nervous energy and it was great. Um, there was a scout there from YM Magazine. Of course, she didn't say who she was. She was just there in the, you know, room with the panel people. She was like, hi, how are you? Took my pictures, all that stuff. I get a phone call back that week that I got into the acting school. A week later, I got a phone call back saying that out of everyone in that room, I was chosen to be in YM Magazine. I was 15. And I was like, what? <laughs> so, um, Bobby Brown... Her global makeup artist did my makeup for that shoot, and I love the people there. Love the makeup. I love Bobby Brown. It's just, I just, I, I love her quotes. Like I quote her sometimes. It's on my page, and um, she did a chapter on one American Beauty right here. Wait, can you see her? Yeah, that's the girl, and she uses J Lo, Sama Hayek. Gloria Estefan and Daisy Fuentes right here, and just gives like, I'll read you a blurb, because I love her so much, hold on, for chapter 19, Latin American Teen Beauty. The Latin women I know have such incredible natural beauty. They have amazing skin and hair color. Most of these women seem to appreciate their femininity and sexiness. I can honestly say that they seem more comfortable with their bodies than lots of other women I know, and have more fun flaunting it. Yet, I find many Latin girls wear too much makeup and simply don't need it. My message? Let your natural beauty show. Experiment with sexy wearable shades on you. Quieter colors are sexy. Loud fuchsia is not. So that's just her introduction to it. And she gives, like, little blurbs for the skin, for the hair, different colors, just everything. And it's realistic. So I could definitely say I would recommend this book by Bobby Brown. I love it. I just, I really love it. She takes celebrities and uses them for inspiration, but more importantly, she uses regular girls, women. It's, even though it just says teen beauty, it's not just teen beauty. She has girls in there with their mothers, and just takes regular, ordinary people like us, um, and doesn't have to do anything crazy with them. Make, it's almost like a make under, like a makeover, but make under, because it's just, they're all natural, you know? all the makeovers she does are, it brings out the natural beauty in someone and that's why I aspire to be, um, makeup wise and, um, even though I might do like funky eyeshadows and things like that realistically every day, um, I aspire to be like her and I love her. So that's this book and, um, again it's by Brown Teenage Beauty, so. 
on to the next book. This is old school, man. This is like, let me see what date this is from. It's from 97. Okay. It's called Girls Know Best. And it's from Beyond Words Publishing. It says it's advice for girls from girls on uh, just about everything. There's a chapter in here called Homemade Beauty Recipes, and this is what I used growing up. Um, it's in black and white, you know, it has little cutouts of people that wrote in. And, um, you know, if you wrote in and you got in the book, they put your name, your age, your hobbies, who your hero is, and what your dream is. <laughs> it's cute. Um, and then all the recipes that they gave in, and you could try them out and all that and see if it works. I'm thinking of like going over it because they're cute and they work. Like it's household stuff, you know. Um, there's for blemishes, different recipes, facial cleansers, facial masks, and hair care. Um, and they all have like cute or funny names to them. Um, one of them for hair care I'll read because I'm doing my hair care series. The Hairy Rosemary Fairy. Okay. <laughs> Place one uh, tablespoon of rosemary into a cup of hot water. Let steep for 20 minutes. Strain and cool. Add two tablespoons of avocado oil. You see, avocado oil. <laughs> one tablespoon of castor oil and two eggs. Whisk together until frothy to use. Massage conditioner into hair and scalp. Wrap hair in towel for 20 minutes. Shampoo and rinse in normal way. Make fresh for each application. So it's just cute. It's a sentimental book for me. I loved it. Um, you know, as you can see, it's always opening to this section. Because <laughs> um, they just want to test out different things when I was younger. I was always into makeup, basically. So, girls know that. The book I'm going to talk about is The Mother Load. From Chic Simple. And it's called Women's Face, Skin Care and Makeup. And it's by Kim Johnson Gross and Jeff Stone. And this is the cover. Chapter 1 is called Looking Good. Chapter 2 is Understanding Your Skin. Chapter 3 is Taking Care of Your Skin. Chapter 4 is Styling Your Makeup. Chapter 5 is Putting On Your Makeup. Chapter 6 is Looking Your Best. And the last one, no, not the last one, the next one is exclusive Elizabeth Arden section. Um, and then the last one is first aid. It shows different, oh, this is big. It shows different women's faces right here, the different skin tones that they have, and what's best for them. Concealer. Oh, and different ways to put blush on. I know people, I see people asking about that. So, if this is something you're interested in, in on eyebrows, it's really good. I, I recommend it. I recommend all of them. And I want to hear what you guys have. I would love to get a video response um, from any of my makeup tutorials, anything. Um, if not, if you can't, if you, know, you don't have the means to make a video, um, message me on there. Leave me a comment. Or, you know, leave a comment right yeah. here. Let me know what you have, what you recommend. But it'd be really cute to see a video on other books if people have them, or articles, or websites. Just place of knowledge for makeup. And one more thing I wanted to let you guys know. I made an email address for makeup related things. If you can't contact me on um, YouTube, I'll put it right here also. Is makeup by Lauren P at AOL.com just cuz I'm starting to take it a little more seriously I have other outside things that I do this is not like my career or anything but it's a passion of mine as well as theater you know acting performing arts makeup was always like coinciding there with like stage makeup cuz that's how I dabble into it thanks for stopping by and I want to see what you guys have been reading or if you guys want to know more about any of those books, let me know and I'll, you know, do a video clip showing you, you know, maybe a recipe out of the book or, you know, summarize a chapter or a section, you know, just let me know, right? Have a great day. Bye.